Okay, now we move to April 2nd, and uh, the lovely Ailey has got the uh, seed mix for today. Uh, we've got in there, uh, now today is April 2nd, 2017. This is uh, Flowers and Herbs Day on the biodynamic calendar, but it is also Moon uh, opposite Saturn Day, which is the uh, generic uh, best planting day of the month. What we're going to do is going to combine actually uh, root planting with flowers and herbs on this day because yesterday was uh, roots and we're going to extend that since we've got moon opposite Saturn. So we're going to be uh, doing a, a kind of a wild mix. We've got uh, coriander in here, onion, spring onion. We've got kohlrabi. We've got uh, radish. Uh, what else have we got? Do we can we think of anything? And flowers, various flowers. Flowers are going to both re repel and attract, but we're going to mix it all in there. And so now uh, Jorge and uh, Eli are going to go ahead and just grab handfuls and toss it into our cell. We have a completely different cell here. It's much larger. Yeah. Uh, let me back off so we can get an idea of what's going on. And they're just casting the seeds loosely all around pretty evenly all over the whole surface. Now what we have in this cell, now of course we're doing the Ladaki cell. This is a rather large cell. Turned under the greens that were here, there was a lot of greens. We've also put in compost, uh, the, the cow shit with the cellulose uh, mix that we had uh, that uh, you may have seen before. That's all dug under. And then we just removed uh, the excess uh, greens that were still sitting around the top and uh, we're going to go ahead and compost those so we have got a very uh, mulchy mix underground it's very hot still because a lot of it is green but uh, you see them uh, sharing the seeds and it's a lot of seeds but uh, uh, and actually, I don't actually recommend over planting like this all the time because uh, your seeds may be very valuable. And uh, specifically, you might want to just plant um, just the final distance when you do plant. But uh, we're, we're going to do these sort of in a, in a kind of a quasi kamikaze fashion where we throw them all in and they're going to all just fight to get up there together and very close together. We have enough people on site here where we can do something very lovely, which is pick and eat. So we may have way too many vegetables coming up, but then as we pick them up, I'm going to show you then a, the uh, herb and onion patch here right next. Uh, we've got a ton of just little babies that I over planted. Let's see if I can get close enough to show you those. There is a uh, hundreds coming up in this cell and hundreds coming up in this cell and I just want to afford everyone the chance to pick and eat as they're thinning out the crops going through and also uh, uh, smaller sizes uh, we can also throw in a, in a basket and just have uh, young greens and whatnot move those into the soil I'm gonna do a little bit I'm going to do a little bit myself so you can see. You just kind of move this around like this kind of thing. And it's nothing special, but it goes very quick. And you move all the way through the soil like so. And this uh, will pretty much work your seeds under the, under the ground. And just be aggressive. Be aggressive. Go ahead and get in there. Yeah, mix it all up. Okay. And at this point, I'd say we're done planting on this moon opposite Saturn day. Now why would this maybe be a wild card? Uh, moon is um, going to be your calcium and that is your uh, growth upward. That's uh, the strength. Uh, uh, it, it, it promotes your growth, your, the largeness of your plant. And then silica is from your Saturn and that's the girth of your plant. So you're going to get big tall plants more likely from planting on moon opposite Saturn, which is today, which is why I've extended the roots one more day. Next, what we're going to do is we, we've got a hose right up here. Uh, normally, we would have uh, some kind of a 
canal going through the middle. But this is a little uh, uh, special case because this in the winter time is a green little, these are little greenhouses. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, hose these off, hose the cell off here. And sometimes later on in the season when it's growing, we just bring the hose down and just let it soak. And just let it soak through the cell. So just a just quick, uh, the, the first planting watering, you're seeing uh, Ellie's just going by with the hose. She's just a sort of like flipping that water back and forth and and we don't oversaturate anything. We really, we want it just kind of moist to the point where maybe a puddle, puddle little puddles might start. And uh, this, this will situate the seeds, I think, rather nicely. Then what we'll do uh, when we're ready for a real watering is we might just, in this case, just set the hose right in the cell and let it just soak and uh, flood a little bit and just keep moving the hose through the cell until that ground really establishes and it, and it comes down. Uh, you, uh, during certain plantings, you may want to go ahead and pat it down very hard and make sure that that cell is, is uh, of course, level. Uh, so that the water is not just sitting in one corner. But here we didn't bother to pat it down. We're going to let the water go ahead and do that. So there's, there's two ways to let your, let your soil settle. So that's watering.